Hello everyone, welcome back to Pharmacy Made Easy. Today let's see one simple topic in pharmacology but still this is one of the important topic when you are studying pharmacology and also microbiology. Today let's study in detail about the bactericidal and bacteriostatic agents. We know antimicrobial agents. These are the drugs used in the treatment of microbial infection. For example, antibiotics, antifungals, anti protozoal, antiviral, etc. Antibacterial drugs or antibiotics that can be used mainly for the treatment of various bacterial infections. And their main mechanism of action that is either by killing the bacteria or by preventing their growth. And we know there are different kinds of antibiotics that are available which works by either inhibiting the cell wall synthesis or inhibiting the DNA synthesis or inhibiting the protein synthesis etc. Based on this mode of action, we can classify antibacterial agents into two major categories that is bacteriostatic agents and also bactericidal agents first one let's see bacteriostatic agents bacteriostatic static that means they inhibit the growth of the bacterium or inhibit the multiplication of the bacteria and this bacteriostatic agents it is defined as the chemical agent capable of preventing the growth of bacteria but not killing them here the reproduction as well as the replication of bacteria that is prevented and coming to the bactericidal agent cidal that means they will kill the bacteria so bactericidal agents these are chemical agents capable of killing bacteria but not necessarily the bacterial spores so once again bactericidal agents kill the bacteria and bacteriostatic agents they will prevent or inhibit the growth of bacteria and bactericidal agents for example cell wall synthesis inhibitors as you know the main drugs categories that include penicillin cephalosporin etc these all are included under bactericidal agents and when this cell wall synthesis that is inhibited by these bactericidal agents that will lead to damaging of the cell wall or cell membrane so as a result that will cause pouring out of the contents inside the bacterial cell and ultimately that can lead to the death of bacteria for example you know penicillin that is a beta lactam antibiotic which mainly inhibit the cross-linking of bacterial cell wall by attaching to penicillin binding protein so when this cell wall synthesis is inhibited thereby they will inhibit the normal function of bacterial cell so ultimately that will leads to the cell death okay so thereby they will kill the bacteria so that's why they are called bactericidal now let's consider the case of bacteriostatic agent they mainly so bacteriostatic as i said previously they will inhibit the growth of the bacterium and they inhibit the bacterial dna replication or protein synthesis or other aspects of bacterial metabolism one example for this include trimethoprim and sulfonamide they will mainly act by inhibiting the successive step of tetrahydrofolate synthesis pathway and this tetrahydrofolate that is involved in the nucleotide synthesis and ultimately if they are inhibiting this tetrahydrate folate and this tetrahydrate folate which is mainly responsible for nucleotide synthesis so as a result of its inhibition the nucleotide synthesis that is also inhibited ultimately that can lead to defective dna replication okay so in case of sulfonamide and trimethoprim they will inhibit the dna replication that is mainly by inhibiting the nucleotide synthesis by inhibiting the tetrahydrofolate synthesis so as a result they will be inhibiting the growth of the bacteria by inhibiting the replication and one of the important point regarding this bacteriostatic agents that is this bacteriostatic agents their higher concentration sometimes can be act as bactericidal okay 
Now let's see the major difference between the bactericidal and bacteriostatic antibiotics. First one, bactericidal. As I said previously, they will kill the bacteria and bacteriostatic agent, they will inhibit the growth of the bacteria. And bactericidal antibiotics, their action is irreversible because they are permanently killing the bacteria. And in case of bacteriostatic agent, they will just inhibit their growth. The action of bacteriostatic antibiotic that is reversible because when the antibacterial agent which is a bacteriostatic that is removed from the system, the normal growth of bacteria that can be retained or it can be observed. So that is the second difference. Third one, inhibition of cell wall formation of bacteria. So these bactericidal antibiotics, they are mainly act by inhibiting the cell wall formation and bacteriostatic agents, they mainly inhibit the DNA replication and protein synthesis of bacteria. One of the important term when you are studying this bactericidal antibiotics or bactericidal agent that is MBC that is minimum bactericidal concentration. So this minimum bactericidal concentration that means the concentration of drug which is required to kill 99.99 percentage of bacterial population that is what minimum bactericidal concentration or otherwise you can simply say it like the minimum concentration of bactericidal agents required to kill 99.99 percentage of bacteria now when we are considering the bacteriostatic agent the term changes into MIC that is minimum inhibitory concentration and you guys know that bacteriostatic agent they will inhibit the growth so this MIC that means the minimum drug concentration which is required to inhibit the bacterial growth okay so in case of bactericidal antibiotic there is MBC like that in case of bacteriostatic agent the term we are using here is MIC that is minimum inhibitory concentration. Now let's see some examples for bactericidal agents and the main examples include penicillin, cephalosporin, aminoglycoside, vancomycin, metronidazole, imipenem and fluoroquinoline. And the bacteriostatic antibiotics major examples include tetracycline, erythromycin, claritromycin, acetromycin, clindamycin, chloramphenicol and sulfamethoxazole. And in case of bactericidal agents, most of the cell wall synthesis inhibitors, they are coming under the group of bactericidal agent and in bacteriostatic agent, the main drugs include tetracycline, clarithromycin, acetropycin, chloramphenicol and also sulfonamides etc. So please study this table thoroughly because multiple choice questions can come from this portion. So this is all about bactericidal and bacteriostatic agents. So as I said, Previously, this is a simple topic, but still this is one of the important topic because when you are studying this, you can easily study the mechanism of action of various antibiotics. Once again, bacteriostatic antibiotics, that means the drugs which are capable of inhibiting or preventing the growth of bacteria and bactericidal agents, agents which are capable of killing the bacterium and the higher concentration of bacteriostatic agents can be act as bactericidal. This is all about today's presentation and if you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.